Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. And this is a medical video lecture. And today's topic of discussion is what are the qualities of semen required for fertility? So you can't call it the semen for fertility. For fertility. Okay, guys. So let's talk about this, and this is really very important for USMLE examination and for any other board medical examinations. So I'm going to talk in the terms of the points, and that, that is a really very important points you should remember for USMLE Step One and Step Two CK examination. So let's talk. What are the minimum required qualities? What are the qualities that the sperm or the semen should have for fertility? Qualities of semen. For fertility, remember. So I'm going to talk about the first one. The, the first important, the most important point is the volume, and the volume of uh, what you call the semen should be minimum is a two ml. Normally, it's a two to five ml. Okay, so it should be the minimum value of a two ml. Okay, that's very important. And the second important thing that's a count. Okay, I'm going to talk about the count. And the count of the sperms in the semen should be at least 20 million per ml. Okay, guys. So this is really this the minimum. I'm talking about the minimum. Minimum, the volume of a semen should be 2 ml for a fertility. The count should be minimum 20 million per ml. Okay. So now let's talk about the number of sperms. The number of sperms in each ejaculation must be at least 40 million. The count is different and what you call uh, the number of sperms is different. Okay guys, the number of sperms number of sperms per number of sperms per ejaculation or each ejaculation must be at least 40 million. Okay, look here. Here the count is twenty millions per ml, whereas the count, if 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 it has what you call a minimum one and a half ml, but the count number of sperms is forty million or fifty million, then it's okay, right? This is how you should differentiate. Okay, now let's talk about the most important point again. What are the what you call alive? What the activity of the sperms? Whether they are alive, how much? If their count is okay, but they are not alive, they are not active then then uh, the, the, there won't be any fertility so it should be minimum 75 percent of them should be what you call alive okay so now let's talk about the other important points what is the motility really very important for usmla and f examination and for other medical board examination that's the 50 percent 50 percent of what you call uh, the sperms must be motile, 50% must be motile, minimum, okay. And, um, okay, what should be the shape and the size? The shape and the size of what you call um, uh, the structures of a sperm should be at least 30% should have normal shape, size and structure, okay, and should be normal. 30% minimum okay now let's talk about the seventh important point uh, the sperms with the head defects must, must be less than because um, you know some of the sperms will have a head defects uh, so it should be less than what you call 35% okay 35% now let's talk about the sperms with mid piece defect must be less than look at the look at the what you call percentage uh, mid piece it's a middle part you can call it as mid piece mid piece defect should be less than 20% <coughs> and the sperms with the tail defect must be less than 20% tail defect 
must be less than 20 percent okay guys so I'm not good in drawing the what you call those poems okay so if this is a head this is a middle piece and this is a tail okay so guys uh, this is about the qualities of semen for fertility and this is really very important for USMLE examination and for other medical board examinations thank you so much for watching this video I'm sure you will like the video and I'm sure you will share the video with your friends thank you so much for subscribing and please do subscribe to our channel and please do tell your friends to subscribe thank you so much take care